Over the last 200 years, mankind has been enormously successful. We have crowded the planet and we are enjoying uh, significant uh, wealth, at least in uh, some parts of the world. Our current energy systems mostly use fossil fuels and are therefore responsible for the large majority of greenhouse gas emissions. We are facing at least three interrelated challenges. Resources, we have used them up to some extent already. Sinks, we are filling up the planet with the waste products of our activities and we have already crossed six out of 11 critical planetary boundaries. And thirdly, social inequality, both between countries and within countries. And overcoming those inequalities seems to be a major uh, precondition to finding viable pathways through this 21st century. In my studies, I did choose courses on energy and climate change, but I had to look for them myself. Now at the Wiese faculty, we did that for you and combined these courses in the new specialization on energy and climate change in the Master of Economics. The new specialization energy and climate change gives you a unique opportunity to understand the interlinkages. Uh, this uh, will equip you with uh, analytical understanding of uh, policy options, uh, of uh, ways to assess these options and uh, to extrapolate potential pathways for humankind in the 21st century. My name is Mark Oliver Betzüger. I'm a professor of economics, energy and sustainability here at the University of Cologne. I have uh, contributed to the development of the new curriculum. Students uh, have to take a specialization after the core section. Um, they have a choice between four different specializations, one of which is our new specialization option, energy and climate change. In any of the specialization sections, students take a foundational course, then a seminar and a choice of three out of five lectures. So my name is Bettina Rockenbach. I'm specialized in game theory and behavioral economics. And I designed a new course for this specialization, bring these aspects together in order to identify and shape mechanisms to fight climate change. Yeah, the lecture I'm giving is especially tailored for this course program, and it's tailored such that students understand economic theory but also behavioral economic theory at this point and to understand and learn themselves how new mechanisms could be designed to fight climate change and also do it themselves if they do an experiment in the group um, of the participants of the lecture.